Hi guys, welcome back to Agile Sloths Milan Masterclass. Today we have a crucial home game in the league against Udinese to bring you. As uh, Milan still chasing uh, Juventus at the top of Syria. Um, we've also got a bit of a roundup of the January transfer window to see how uh, see how we got on in that, and um, give you a roundup of the fixtures that we've encountered since the last game in the which we brought you was at the start of January in the cup against Lazio. No, we didn't. We brought you Fiorentina, didn't we? Apologies. We brought you the one or draw of Fiorentina. So anyway, yeah, we'll get over into that now and show you how we've got on. So since the Fiorentina match, uh, which is a bit of a, a dull 1-1, one -one, we've managed to pick up two wins in a draw in the league and we've had a defeat in the cup, got knocked out by Lazio 2-0. Bit of a bit of a poor performance that one to be honest with you we've not played particularly well in any of these games uh, Benevento 3-2 what happened here um, yeah we, we, we dominated but 3-2 they took the lead early doors and they pulled the goal back late on but we, we made the comeback I think we switched to 4-4-2 and that got us the win Certainly got us the Rebic goal. I think Salamekas as well. Um, I won't go through these all. Lazio was just a poor game. Bologna. Yeah. Well. I think they are bottom of the table. No, they were like 15. A one all draw. Not great. Palmer. That, that Palmer are bottom of the table. Uh, one nil wasn't really good enough away from home. To be honest with you. We didn't play well. And the defence played well apparently. And somehow Zlatan gets himself a 7.7. .7. He scored the winner after we switched to 4-4-2. But he missed a couple of sitters. Uh, surprises me he gets a 7.7 .7 for that. But three points I suppose. Three points. Um, so today, as I mentioned today, we've got Udinese. We're out of the cup now. So we're out of the Europa League, out of the Italian cup. So it should just be Serie A matches all the way through. Today we play Udinese. I'll just show you where we are in the league. Latest standings, so we find ourselves four points off Juventus in the top spot. They've now played their extra games. Um, I think they've had a couple of draws in that, as of, as of we had a draw. Uh, so yeah, if we can win our game in hand against Udinese today, that'll take us one point behind. Uh, we've still a massive 16 games left to play. So getting exciting, getting exciting. I'm still really looking at Napoli in fifth and thinking, right, how far ahead of them are we? Oh, if they win their game in hand, go to 42. So we'd be only four points ahead of fifth place for Atalanta. Still kind of got that mentality. Top four is my target. Um, so yeah, the January transfer window. So let's have a look at what we did in the transfer window. So I managed to shift a couple of players. We got rid of... Um, Kronich was the one that went. Why is it not showing me Kronich? I do not understand. That's because they're all waiting to happen, aren't they? Transfer activity. I don't know what this doesn't show. Transfer history, is that the one? Right, yes, okay. So out. We managed to get rid of... Leo Duarte went at the, in the middle of the window. 3.3 .3 million. Uh, we got rid of Castillo, Castileo, sorry, and Conti on loan, um, which they're paying for. Some fees there, that's good, money in the bank. Got rid of Krunic, he didn't want to go, uh, but he was surplus to requirements and I needed the cash, so that's great. And then Enrico de Gezu signed a new contract with me, which was good because he was running out at the end of the year, and he's gone out on the development loan to Prato, which is great news. Um, also signed a few players up as well, some hot prospects where contracts were going to come up at the end of the season so I've managed to sign them up um, I've got a few first team players actually that um, contracts well no not the contracts are expiring this this summer but who want new contracts so Fiat Hernandez is one I can't afford it just cannot afford given what what he wants I went into negotiations he wants something like £150,000 a week and he's on something like 30 40 let's have a look I will come back to this because there's an exciting uh, little signing here which I'll, I'll show you but I just want to see what Hernandez is on. I'm paying him 40k, okay, and he wants 150. So I offered him somewhere in the region of 75, 80, double his money. I think I might have got 100 but he was having none of it so now he's pissed off. Although he doesn't say I'm happy there, he just says wanted but he, yeah, I'm sure he's unhappy. Um, 
the other one is Leo, who's now come in and rocked the boat and then made the rest of the squad unhappy uh, because I didn't offer him a new contract. I wanted to do it at the end of the season when I've hopefully got a better financial situation, get a few other players out of the door. Um, but yeah, I had the whole squad against me, so I had to offer him a new contract, which he did. He wanted an important player to be a promise. I uh, wasn't prepared to do it, so I gave him regular starter and they walked away from negotiations. So that's going to be an interesting one. There's a promise in there that I'm not sure I'm going to, have to keep. But we'll see how we get on. Maybe go back to negotiations in a couple of weeks. But yes, so we made ourselves a little bit of money, which meant we could go and have a look on loan. I had made a promise to Hakan Shaganoglu that I would strengthen the right wing. So I went and looked on who was available on loan. And this little lad here, Kingsley Coman, was available on loan. It was like, happy days. Get him in. Uh, eight million pounds it's cost me. Well, if he plays... It would cost me eight million, which I needed to have in the budget. So I had to do a bit of tinkering. I had to wait for the Croonish deal to go through to get the eight million, adjust the budget to get the money, etc., etc. Anyway, landed him, ecstatic with that, brilliant, an absolute upgrade on the right wing. Three and a half, good stats. I was like, brilliant, happy with that. First game back, well, first game, as you can see, he's now out for three to five weeks. Unbelievable. We played forty-five minutes against. Um, whoever it was Palmer Palmer 45 minutes oh, I couldn't believe it start the second half bang injury absolutely devastating I mean one good thing is I'm paying less for him if he's injured on the monthly pay slight silver lining but we're back to where we were so yeah anyway <laughs> moving on yes we've got Udinese today fantastic let's uh, let's get stuck into what we're going to do so, yeah, we've been finding that putting the ball in the net has been a problem the last few games. Um, don't know why. I've, uh, I've upped the amount of players on attacking when we are attacking on, on attacking mentality. Um, st sticking with this formation, this strategy, um, Zlatan's just not been finding the net. 6.98, he has got 16 goals. Am I being too harsh? I don't know. Rebic. He seems to have sort of fallen off his good form now. 6.4 in the last one, 6.5 in the one after, so... Um, yeah, he needs a good game, to be honest. So we're back with Selemekas on the right wing. That was where um, Kingsley Coman came in. Going with the Kessie and Benneker in the middle, which I think is our strongest form. Um, midfield pair. Got Sola and I've got Tonali on the bench. Chalanoglu in there. I think he's better than Diaz. I don't get the Diaz. He's unhappy with the amount of playing time. I've played him a fair bit, actually. So, I'm not quite sure where that's coming from, but it is what it is. Not a lot I can do about it. If he's not performing. Not outperforming, shall I not do anyway? So, yeah, we've got Leo on the bench. We've got Solar on the bench uh, to make an impact. Uh, yeah, it's about it. Tonali Diaz, okay, they, they can come on and help if needs be. Strongest central defensive pair pairing are available, which is good. And Calabria and Hernandez fit. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Any tinker, familiarity is good. Any tinker in that dawn? Udinese, we're going to attack in. I think we are. I think we're going to go for it. We're at home. So, we're going to go attack in. Uh, I've gone back to hit early crosses instead of working towards the box. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. For the chance creation, we're just not, not make, uh, scoring the goals we should be. Then I'll have to switch to the 4 4 2 again, which. Hit and miss, 50% of the time to seem to get us a goal for 4 2 if I give, you know, give 15 minutes on it. So, submit the team. Uh, actually, I do the opportunity instructions first, I haven't done them yet. Uh, so, what we've got, we've got Gerard Delafeo up front. Well, we're going to give him tight marking. We'll press him. Um, I'm sure he's weaker foot. He's their top goal scorer. I'm surprised he's playing up front, but okay. Uh, Lasagna, we will press. I'm sure he's weaker foot. Who's the playmaker? The wind back Larson. So we want to press him and we want to show him onto his weaker foot. Um got McKengo press him. It's it hard. And who's the other lad? Tolbe Arlson, right, we'll do the same to him. So I thought let me do it. Pressing intensity or what is yeah. Go hard. Okay. So that's what we'll go with. Um if they start dictating the play, I suppose I could always jump on him but uh, we'll wait for the time here 
So yeah, let's get the game underway. Go hard on Jelafayu. All right, I'm back as well then. Into the dressing room. What we got? Favor. Looks like nothing but a win. No extra pressure. Let's raise our game to their level. That might be one. Passionate from the fists. Raise our game to their level. I, I think it's just a key for recommending this. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to go to the wells. Keep picking the same one all the time. Uh, it'll lose its effectiveness. That's done nothing. Okay, so let's do some uh, individual bits and bobs. Get some people going. Okay, let's get the game underway. No early. Oh, it's an early yellow card. I don't know if that's the beta. Oh, blimey, too. But yeah, we always seem to get an early yellow card. Three now. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, that's not ideal. Come on, boys, demand more. This 20 minutes gone by, not a highlight. Here we go, throw in, down the left. Hernandez throws into Rebic. It's cleared. Cleared out to Calabria. You can have a shot, he does. Save. Selemeka, save. Oh, the double save there. Good job from their keeper. To get back up so quickly for the rebound and then a second shot. Can we keep the pressure on? Benneker, deep free kick. Floats one in. Romagnoli. Oh, it's just over. Just over. We don't tend to score many from those. Corner now. Benneker, Romagnoli. Rebic, back post. Lovely little knock on from Romagnoli. Rebic taps it in. Hopefully the um, corner routines that we have practised paid off there. Goal kick. Easily collected by Hernandez. Passing down the wing. We turn round. Romagnoli at the back. Down the line to nobody. Uh, Ludinese now. Come forwards. Sanya down the right hand side. Through into Delefeu. He's lost his marker. He shoots. It's wide. Oh, Donnarumma seemed to have his angles covered there. But it was a bit worrying how easily he got in. The central defenders didn't fancy it. Oh, it's another goal. From a corner as well. Hang on. It's appealing for offside. But how can it be offside? It's from the corner, wasn't it? Or is it Benneker that's... No, Benneker to the corner. What? How can that be offside? It was straight from the corner? I don't understand. Oh. I've seen that, yeah, okay. Somebody could have been standing in front of the keeper. Fair enough, if that's the case. Disappointing. Obviously, we'd like to be 2-0 up. But, uh, yeah, 1-0 up. Playing reasonably well. They've not had too much. One chance. Delafayu. I could demand more some. Yeah, I think we're happy to keep it up. So, point finger. Happy to keep it up. Have a look how we're doing. No knocks. Yeah, the defence on the yellow cards is the worry. Um, I've got to trust them. Uh, not had many yet red cards so far, so I've got to trust them to, uh, to keep it clean in the second half. Can bring Tenali on for Benneker if I need to. Um, got anybody else? I mean, not really. Left back Delo's injured or just coming back from injury, so I've not really got much of defensive cover on the wing uh, for the full back positions. But yeah, let's see how we get on. And um, Chalamog, who's not playing well. Southland's not playing well. Need a bit more from them. Kessier, same. I'd rather Benneker would the one playing badly and I could take him off. But uh, Benneker's 6.9. Did he get an assist from a corner? No, not quite, did he? Anyway, we'll go with this second half. Some Kyo getting skinned all too often today. Yes. And he's supposed to be one of my best defenders. 6.6. .6. He's not playing great. Come on, boys. One more. Kessie now. Jeez. Yeah, the card. No highlights going on here. None whatsoever. Zlatan's having a shocker. I think we make a sub now. Somebody's uh, got a change. It's Kessier now. I'm going to bring on Tonali. And then I think swap those over. So Benneker's my box to box. Tonali in the deep line playmaker. And that sub. 
been a bit of a drab match so far. Certainly the second half. Eight second minute, nothing cooking. All right, we're going to make another sub. 80 second minute, absolutely nothing. Uh, Diaz, I think, probably for Chalanoglu. Yep, bring him in. Anybody else? That's the last time. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Maybe Leo. Yeah, we'll bring Leo on. Who's better up there? Leo or Ribbit? Shh, they're the same. Uh, go Leo. I think Leo's got a bit stronger. So, yeah, yeah stick him up top. We're about two and a half minutes to go plus stoppage time. Here we go now. Hernandez. Comfortably collected by the keeper. Is this the chance for Udinese to get the ball forwards and snatch a draw? Romagnoli does well. Ball's back with Donnarumma. Punts it clear. We're on the attack with Diaz. Into Rebic. Can he score? Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. He went across the keeper, but didn't quite find the corner. Keeper, he had his angles covered that time. Now with Udinese on the attack. Last minute stoppage time. Calabria, very good. Makes the tackle, wins the ball. Clear up top field. That's gone straight out of play. Fantastic. Well done, Solomon Kuz. Come on, Ray. Surely this is it. Passing it around. Clear it. Is that all? Offside. Okay. Just punt this clear then. That is the game. Again, not a brilliant performance from the attack. Good from the defence. We've kept a clean sheet. They've all performed really well. Hernandez in particular. Don Rummer didn't exactly have much to do. He, he made one save that I can remember from their one shot on target. Yes. Um, expected goals. Probably one nil's a fair result. But 12 shots, only four on target. That's not great. Zlatan did not play well. But what can you say? Three points. If we carry on playing like... Well, if we carry on picking up points, I'll be happy. Performances aren't great. I think we need to be assertive. Assistant saying, don't get complacent for the next match. I think that's a good step. Yeah, we need to not be complacent. Demotivated. Oh, dear. So where does that leave the table then? We have caught back up with Juventus. One point behind. And, yeah, nothing's really changed below because they haven't played. So we are seven points clear of Atalanta. who could be in fifth place by the time Napoli play. Or we are nine points clear of Napoli. We have two games in hand on us. So yeah, only seven points clear of Atalanta with a game in hand. So it's, uh, it's still close. It's not like we've got a comfortable margin there. So yeah, they just uh, look at the fixtures then as we wrap up the video. See where we'll come back for the next one. We've obviously got a difficult game against Roma next. And going in, I think we'll look to bring you the Inter game in four matches time. It uh, could be a bit of a humding of that. A win there could really cement the top four spot for us. I know there's still a long way to go, but yeah. In terms, we look forward through the calendar. Obviously, we've, we've got to play everybody well, pretty much. Atalanta, Napoli, Lazio. That Juventus game in May, if we can stay with them. I know it's away, but that could be absolutely massive. So, yeah, there's um, definitely some challenging fixtures coming up. But um, you've got to play everybody twice, haven't you? So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that video guys, we've got the win. Um, hopefully you can come back next time and see us get the uh, victory over Inter. Thanks very much, bye.